if you go, if if during this process you go to the optometrist and they go, "Why well, you have got more astigmatism now?" No, you don't. You don't. Welcome back. So, a quick video because lately in the Facebook group, I'm wearing these headphones because it 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 gives me like feedback on the audio. Not that it helps, but whatever. Lately in the Facebook group, for some reason, this has never really come up, but lately it's come up several times, I don't know why, people thinking that decreasing myopia is increasing their stigmatism. And not, con not frequently, I mean, it was two people, I don't really remember, but it came up a couple of times, like their, their spherical is reducing and they think their stigmatism is increasing, and it's not. And while I want to yell at them just because it's my nature to yell at everybody, it's not, it's not astigmatism. Your stigmatism is not, you're not getting astigmatism from reducing your myopia. You're going through the phases of, you have blur, and then you have double vision, and then you get a clear image. That's the progression, right? To varying degrees, it's not always exactly the same, but generally speaking, there is the time when your visual cortex is adopting to the change that is happening in your physical eyeball as it's shortening to get the right focal plane to your retina, which you're creating by the active focus, and you know all this stuff, right? So, but this is a process where biologically your eyeball is physically reshaping, and none of that stuff happens perfectly. Your visual cortex is like the computer. It's having to tune the input that it's getting, the input which is now changing. That's why incredibly commonly, most everybody at some stage, as you're reducing the diopters, you're getting some double vision. It's completely, perfectly normal. If you dial the diopters back up to reduce the focal plane error, you're, you're moving the focal plane back further, easier to see, less focal plane error, the double vision goes away. The lower the diopters are, the more blur horizon challenge you're getting, the more pronounced the double vision effect may be. So, if you feel like you're getting too much double vision, then your doctors may be too low, right? But if it's just a little bit, there's no there's no good sense in going, well, I'm gonna, just gonna add some, some cylinder correction. That's a terrible idea. You're simply moving along the path of the process to the clear vision part of the improvement of the diopter reduction. So if you go, if, if during this process you go to the optometrist and they go, well, you have got more astigmatism now. No, you don't. You don't. And if you measure it, right, like go to the optometrist if you want, have it measured, and measure it again a month later, I guarantee you it'll be different. It'll be definitely lower, it could be even on a different axis, because it's not really actually astigmatism. And I'm not mad at you here, like if I sound that way, it's just because my, my gut feeling is that when people run into this, they're not taking into consideration all the pieces that are part of the improvement process, right? Like, they're reducing too much too quickly, they're being too aggressive, they're, they're clearing up some blur, now they got some double vision, and now they're at this stage, and now they go, whoa, whoa, I got astigmatism now, and, and you don't, right? So, pretend that I said this flowingly with an enormous beard and sounds of mountain bells in the background and peacefully giving you the it's not astigmatism it's not astigmatism if you didn't have it last month you're not having it now like it's not causing astigmatism if you disagree perfectly fine this is a diy project i'm not giving doctor specific or individual advice so you're doing whatever you're doing you're responsible for your own self just be aware that part of this process is what we just talked about that's it. Videos have been getting more popular lately for whatever reason, so that's cool. I like that. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you want more of them. There's other stuff we really need to talk about. Um, the topic that always comes up is I'm not. And I'm usually getting that from people who once prompted spend 10 hours in front of screens and I'm not counting all their screen time. They're not counting checking Facebook on the toilet, they're not counting watching Netflix on their tablet way too close, or they're, they're overestimating the outdoor time, they're overestimating the active focus time, and then they're mad at me, well, or they're just saying, maybe, <laughs> sorry, it's, and again, I should just pretend flowing beard, and this is all presented in a very supporting manner.
I really shouldn't post this one. See you in the next one.